Shimamana. We thank you, God. We praise you. Because of the joy you have given us, to know you is a blessing. But to have you is beyond that. To have you, to walk with you, to work with you, it is beyond that. The glory belongs to you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Speak with us in the name of the already. In this quarter of April to June, we are discussing the months of praise and worship. The month of April, which is the month of Judah, the word Judah means to worship. Uh, to praise. This is the month of praise. And the name Dan means the reasonable judge. We will worship, but if you are just and you make good judgments, you are worshiping God. And the fifth month of then, we will talk about the reasonable worship. And June, which is the month of Naphtali, means the uh, wrestling. We are going to discuss and see how people wrestle in worship. There's someone who wrestled in worship called Jacob. And he took his blessing. Because he was wrestling with the angel, he was worshipping. So these three months are months of praise and worship. Azaf in Rwanda, Kigali, they are on channel 10 and radio 10 uh, TV channel and radio channel 10 and they are leading worship that is not the authentic TV in a, a television show of a musician called Eddie Kamoso so I was following their, worship, their praise or their worship yesterday as they were worshipping, as you know, now in uh, Rwanda, they are, they are, they are in uh, re they, are, they, are re they are remembering the genocide that was done against the Tutsis. These are seven weeks, seven Zero, days. Ba ba so they gave Azaf these seven days to worship and to help people in this time as they were worshipping people continue to write giving testimonies of what God is doing there is a testimony that I read Eddie Kamoso that I heard Eddie Kamoso there was a mother who wrote to him and she said that she had spent many days paralyzed not being able to walk as she was following their praise and worship there is power that came in her and she got up and was healed and she had an issue of not being able to uh, forgive people and there is power that came in her heart and she was able to forgive everyone 
igihe cyose duhimbaza imana turamye imana hari ibintu bidasanzwe biba mu buzima bwacu this show me that every time we worship and praise god there are special things that happen in our lives mu gitabo cyo bacamanza igice cy'ambere ku murongo wa mbere n'uwa kabiri in the book of judges 1 1 to 2 bibiri yavuga ngo yosuwa amaze gupfa abisiraeli babazu witeka bati muri twe n'indu zabanza gutera abanyakanani kubarwanya uwiteka aravuga ati abayuda nibo bazabanzayo dore mbagabije ico gihugu now after the death of Joshua it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord saying who shall be first to go up for us against the Canaanites to fight against them and the Lord said Judah shall go up indeed I have delivered the land into his hand eh abisraeli bamaze gufata kanani when the Israelites took Canaan barwanya intambara za mbere kugira ngo binjire mu gihugu they fought the initial war the wars to be able to enter the land ariho bakubisiye riko kuko niho bagombaga kwinjirira and that's how they are defeated in Jericho as they were entering. They went on to Ai. And they got to a place called Shiloh. When they got to Shiloh, they spent time there. Because that's where they established the first tent. Uh, the tabernacle uh, spent that uh, 690 years in Shiloh. Icyo gihe ryaje kuhava nyuma igihe Eli yaramaze gupfa and he came, he came to live at that place when Eli died nabahungu be babiri Phineas na Hofine bamaze gupfa and his two sons Phineas and Hofin Samuel icyo gihe tiyonge yewe gusubira i Roma ahubwo yatangiye kuzenguruka Israeli yose uhere i Berch pardon i i i, I Shilo pardon uhereye i Bercheba ukagezidani azenguruka igihugu cyose mu majyaruguru no majyepfo at that time, Samuel did not go back to Shiloh. He started walking and traveling the country from Beersheba to Dan. Uh, so Joshua came to die. He was buried in the countryside of Shiloh and Bethel. Once he died, what he had done for them, when they got to Shiloh, Shiloh was in the middle, in the middle of Israel. From Beersheba to Dan. Dan is in the north. And Beersheba is in the south. And in the center there is Shiloh. So Shiloh is the center of the heart of Israel. When they got here, the other ten tribes that had not found a portion Remember the family of Reuben? The family of God. And the, uh, uh, part of the tribe of Manasseh. They stayed on the other side of the Jordan River. The ones who entered the other side of the Jordan River. There were ten tribes. That means a half of the tribe of Manasseh was also there. Those ten tribes. Joshua was, Joshua was busy dividing the land for them. They will play lottery and they will find their own portions. It is as if we are in this building and we call this a nation. A we have ten people. And then you play lottery. And it is uh, uh, decided that those who go on this side are the Joseph family. And those who go on that side are the Naphtali family. So Shiloh is where they divided Israel and every um, family, every tribe got their own portion. But everywhere that the, they gave, the person they gave to everyone he had people living in them. The Canaanites. It's as if they tell you, we give you that portion, find your way or find a way to chase them out. That's why Judah asked Simeon to help him. That means he gave them a country that had inhabitants. 
And a time came when he died after he, uh, before he helped them fight. And this is where we read in the book of Judges. In the first chapter, verse 1 to 2. Yosua Mazegufa. After the death of Joshua, the Israelites asked God, saying, who shall be first to go up for us against the Canaanites? We have the country, but who is going to start to fight? They used to ask Joshua before, but Joshua is dead now. Who are they going to ask? They are going to ask God themselves. They say, God, you brought us in this country and Joshua has died. Who is going to attack first? The Bible says, say, Judah shall go up first. Why Judah? The word Judah the word Judah means praise. Those who praise God, those who worship God, they are the ones who attack Satan. They are the ones who defeat Satan. They are the ones that God trusts. They are the ones that God sends. They are the ones that God makes their, his ambassadors. They are the ones who talk on behalf of God. To praise and worship, it transformed us into agents of God. It makes us soldiers of God. It makes us a great people of God. It makes us the hands of God. It makes us the arm, the legs of God. When he runs towards war, as he's going to war, he uses worshippers. He uses people who pray. A heart that praises. A heart that worships. A heart that prays. A heart that is thankful. It is a heart that God trusts. So Judah, he had praise in him, which goes with his name for Canaan to be taken God required for Judah to go first hallelujah hallelujah when Judah goes to attack in this spirit of praise and worship God is going to do miracles God is going to do great things are you ready to be sent by God have a heart of praise and worship hallelujah hallelujah Praise and worship. Uh, recently, we had uh, news that have been passing on the te- television and here in America. You remember the week of uh, Palms before Passover? On that Sunday, yes, I taught you when Jesus was riding the donkey. Uomusi, that day, umusore witwa Montero Lamar Hill. There is a young man called Montero Lamar Hill. Akazinake bamuita kaga himbano ni Lil Nas X. Uh, his nickname or stage name is Lil Nas X. Uomusi yasoho ye video. That day he released a video. Hamwe nuru kweto. And with a shoe. He called it the certain shoe. I believe you heard the news. I want to tell you the story hidden behind this thing. There were many stories written about this. They were talking about this uh, young man, this uh, musician, Lil Nas. Are you Nike? Uh, now Nike has filed a complaint. Nike has filed a complaint against an, another company that helped him called MS. 
CHF. The young men, uh, our young men went into a store. Agura ingweto zanaike magana tandatu mirongu tandatu nazi tandatu. He bought Nike shoes, uh, 666 Nike shoes. Amaze kuzigura. And after he bought them, ajamuri kampani yindi maze kubabwira MSC HF. He went into this company that I just told you, MSCHF. And they made a contract to change that shoe. They took the shoe that has um, a, a, a brand. Yes, it has, you know the logo. Then, he had people that he had asked uh, for blood. Those people gave him blood. Their own blood. Bafata at the bottom of uh, every shoe, they put a drop of blood, of human blood. Donc barangije baboheramo urukweto bongera barugira uruzima rurimo amaraso yabantu bazigo And then they put together the, the shoe again with human blood in it Arangije keje urukweto rwa Nike ashiraho ikimenyetso kinyenyeri ifite amahemba atanu iyo bita pentagram pentagram inyenyeri ya mahemba atanu ihembe ryo munsi rimanuka cyane ni ni kimenyetso cha satani uh, he uh, then put a sign of the pentagram, which is the five uh, uh, corner star, and one of those corners is a sign of Satan. And he put that logo on the shoe. And then he wrote inside Luke ten eighteen. Aho Yesu yabwiye abigishwa bavuye kwirukana abadayimoni ngo nabonye Satana ava mu ijuru agwa kwisameze nk'umurabyo ico cyanditswa gishira muri ugo rukweto Where Jesus uh, said to his disciples I saw Satan falling like lightning Eh amaze gukora ugo rukweto After he made that shoe Noneho akora publicite y'indirimbo ye yasohoye and then he advertised his new song that he released Uyu mwana afite imyaka 27 this young man has 21 years old. He's a young man. Arangije avuga ko iyo ndirimbo ayituye abana bato bose. And then he dedicated that song to all the young people. Donc abana bato ndetse nabantu bakichonka. Even the babes, children. Ugo rukweto rukozwe n'urwumukara kandi ruri decoreho iyo nyenyeri nababwiye. That shoe is black and it has the, the star that I told you about. And then he started selling that shoe a uh, thousand and eighteen cents. And those shoes are he, he, he's selling six hundred and sixty six shoes. Suddenly people bought those shoes uh, in 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 quickly. Kandi ayamafranga ni mechi chane ugere na nije nuko ya biguze kuri Nike. And that is a lot of money compared to the price he paid to Nike. Je mfite ngira urukwetu kwa Nike nguna kukore cha sport. I have a Nike shoe that I use when I am exercising. But since we moved, I don't know where that shoe is. I asked my brethren uh, who uh, helped me move, but I have not gotten a response. Nike, 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 a Nike shoe cost around two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. A hundred two hundred. This shoe uh, that has human blood in it and it has the star of Satan on it. 
uh, and it is also painted in black, it is now costing $1,018. This a, a young man who is a rapper, what pushed him to do that? What pushed him to do that? It is the covenant he made with Satan so that he can be successful. But this is not a simple covenant. It is a covenant that is sensitizing young people to worship the Antichrist and to wear that shoe because the shoe means the gospel, the message. The message that is about to come that they are preparing it is to Talk about the Antichrist publicly. His shoes. To wear his clothes. And in a short time you will see uh, hats that have 666 on them. Plates that have the same number. The number of the Antichrist. It goes together with darkness. I want to tell you. Before these things come to pass. They started started, uh, uh, publicizing the owl or the bird called owl. You see it on TV. On the bed sheets, on the shoes, and on other, uh, you are going to see an owl. And that's 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 why we should not buy uh, clothes that have writings on them uh, because you are bringing those things, uh, they have spirits, and when you give them to your children, they are going to have spirits in them. You know yourself, you don't pray a lot, so don't bring those things to your children. Do you hear me? So the owl, it is a bird of the night. Which means that their work was still hidden. When this young man released, when this young man released this shoe, it means that the era of hiddenness is coming to an end. The era of serving Satan in secret is going to come to an end. That's what the, that's what this shoe means. That means that the message is about to go out. Are you following me? Are you following me? Or are you afraid? If you are afraid, you do not believe in Jesus in you. But if you are not afraid, Tell me, continue. Should I continue? <laughs> so this young man, there is something that he did. For him to be able to live, he had to leave. And he took a number of people who gave, uh, who gave him, uh, who allowed him to uh, draw blood drop by drop. And he took time to do so. 
kugira ngo babashe kubona umutonyi wuzura amaraso yuzura gatsinsi no kose ku rukweto donc mu rukweto akakose so that they could find enough blood to fill the uh, heel of the shoe donc bagendaga bakura mu mutonyi buri muntu aka volontaire yangagataka they would draw uh, uh, drops of blood uh, so that they could find that kind of kuribya kwa abo bantu babikoze bo nibana when you think about it, who do you think those people were? All those people have covenants with Satan. This is what saddens me. It is a black man. It is a black young man. Why? Other Races should not do that? Oh yeah. No. Babikora. They can do it. Ariko Satani arimo arafatira abantu mu bukene. But Satan is uh, using people because they are poor. Icyakabiri arimo arakorana nabantu baba barakinguye imiryango y'ibindi bindi biyo bya bwenge uburere buke yakuvuga nabi gusakuza mu mihanda. Donc kiriya kinyabupfura gike cyose Satani biramworohera gukoresha abo bantu. Nugira umwana uvuga ibintu bidafite sense byo gutukana nibiki menye ko ari kandida kuri satani. He is raising he is using the children who were raised in the wrong way who speak the wrong way who do things that are not proper. If you have such a child know that he is a candidate of satan. Umwana akaza kagutuka imbere y'abantu ari we wamubyaye. A child comes to police ni shaka ifunge. A child comes umwana wawo arafuga ibintu biteye isoni imbere y'abantu ngo aha ngo nsinkora tukora ni we wamubyaye cyangwa ni we wakubyaye atari ibyo uyu mwana ni kandida kuri satani a child refuses to do what you tell them to do chores if they behave so they are a candidate for satan ni ibintu bibabaje cyane it is very sad ikindi uyu mwana yakoze rero another thing that this young man did na masezerano y'imyaka ye it is a covenant for his time on this earth his lifetime umuntu wesagira imyaka zaba every person has years that they are going to live satana aragenda karunguruka mu gitabo satan goes and peeks into the book into a book chubugi. the book of life akamenya imyaka zaba and he knows the years of your life akakubwira ati wewe ndabona kubaho kwawe ni imyaka ijana and he tells you i know you are going to live 100 years none ndagira ngo mu myaka mirongo itatu sigaranye tuvuge uyu uyu mwana afite 21 let's say this young man is 21 years old eh noneho uyu munsi afite 22 let's say today he is 21 years old agomba kugira imyaka ijana and he has to uh, end his life at 100 years hasigaye imyaka ingahe how many years does he have left mirongo 89 mirongo 90 79 years left. Satani cyamubwira uyu munsi. So this is what Satan tells. Bati nta kibazo. It's okay. Ndagira ngo iyi myaka usigaranye kuba. I want these years that you have left. 79. 70 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kura mu 22 mumaze ku depanse. Remove the 21 years that you have spent already. Ningahe? How many do you have left? Ile ile nwiri cyane ukura 21. 58 Eh 79 minus 21 is Arasigarana 58 8 58 years left Sizo Are we together Uyu mwana na imyaka asigaranye kubaho ni 58 He has 58 years to live This is very important Satan yaramubwiye atoke Urashaka iki What do you want ndashaka kumenyekana fame i want to be famous i want chi abantu baza banterera imyenda ya everywhere i go i want people to uh, throw their clothes at me ngire ubuke ngire imodoka zimwe za modoka zose zikezwe ari abari muzine ari amasporo ari ngire zo zose i want to have all the best cars that are uh, on they are popular like limousines and sports cars ngire inzu florida ya million I want to have a mansion in Florida that costs Ngire indie studio ya nje Hollywood. I want to have another studio in Hollywood. Satan bativuga iki? Satan says just mention that shaka kumenyekana mu buryo aho ngeze hose stade yuzure kugeza n'igihe abantu babura amatikarangira abandi bataha. 
I want to be so famous that when I go and have a concert, our tickets are going to sell out quickly and people will not have it. This young man is talking to Satan. Satan says, I'm going to give you all those things. No problem. Just sign here. We are going to divide the years we, you have left. How many did he have left? 58. 59 divided by 2 is 29. Very good. This young man. 29. And he says, when I die at 29 years old, I'll be famous, I'll have I'll have He doesn't know that 29 years old is just tomorrow. He's 29 years old. He says, I will have slept with all the women I want, all the men, all the men I want. And this, this young man is actually gay. This young man has a, a mother and a father. He has, he has, uh, he has uh, aunties. It is possible that he went to Sunday school like our children that we see here. Ariko so this child, his parents were not severe to him. They gave him uh, clothes that are indecent. They pierced his, uh, their, his nose when he was still young. And they gave him bracelet on his ankle. This is the kind of child who, that is going to turn into. If you're going to someone's house, you will know that they raise their children properly or not in the way they greet you. If you see children just come into the room, they don't greet anybody, know that it's, it's over for them. You say, it comes they have to call him back say come and greet people no 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 he says I'm hungry I'm tired you must pray for them and sleep out of the house because you are in a dangerous zone but if you see children come into the room and they greet their parents and then they greet you properly know that you are in a safe place it doesn't require the spirit of prophecy to know that a household is in good condition. You must, you must watch the, the way the child is behaving and when they're asking directly for their father's phone and their mother's phone and they are crying, and you give them the phone just to be quiet, that child is dangerous. I'm telling you serious things. And you see these things, and you ignore them. A child goes and plays with your phone, and you have a viruses in your phone. You yourself, you grew up and you did not have a phone and you are, now you are a man, you are a good man and a good woman. Why do you have to give your children a phone? I look at the future and it is very scary. 
Umana agabanyijimyaka na Satani. The young man divided his ears with Satan. Asigaranye 20 ingahe? He has how many left? Ni 9. 29 years left. Satana twa ingahe? And Satan has taken how many? Noneho wa mwana ratangira koze. So this young man starts to work. Ndababwira uko yazagenda. I'm telling you how his life is going to finish. Akorera ku masezerano. He's working according to the covenant. Iyo yishisezerano rito. If he breaks just one part of the covenant, akora accident. He has an accident. Akajya mu bitara kagira nka meza atatu. And he goes into the hospital for 6 months. Daimon uyu yo byabwengera mutera. And the demon of drugs attacks him. Agatangira kunwa urumoge kugeza igiye rwitera mu maraso. And they start Kuwera ko ibyo ni bihano Satani arimo mukubitamo kuko yananiwe gukora amasezerano nawe. And they take drugs until they even inject them in their body because those are punishments that Satan is causing them. Because Satan is not merciful. Mercy belongs to God. If you say Satan have mercy, he laughs. When you ask him for mercy, he laughs at you because he says, this is the language of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the, the Christians. He says, what, what is the word that you are saying? He can't even spell it because he doesn't know it. Let's continue. I don't know if you follow the news lately. Of another rapper who passed away at DMX. His name is DMX. You know him? His real name DMX. His real name is not DMX. Ali Simmons. His name is Earl Simmons. He died exactly at 50 years old. He's also a black man. This rapper, he was uh, very famous. He was born in the is in 1970. And he was born in New York. This young man was among the people who uh, started rapping. And he died the other day. How did he die? He songs, his songs were uh, uh, sold in thousands. Hundreds of thousands. But this man broke the covenant he had with Satan. He got to a point. He did things and when they asked him why he was doing those things, he said, those are demons that live in me that force me to do those things. He will go and steal a dog. And then he will go and shoot the dog and uh, basically finish his uh, They caught him many times taking drugs to the point where he was injected in, in his body and he will be jailed. He was taken to rehab centers. And he, was, he had a very disorganized life and he would steal while, while he was not even poor. And he would do those things saying that he's saved. One day they took him to jail. It was maybe the hardest time. It was just his life. 
And they asked him, are you going back? And he said, I'm going back because Jesus sent me to prison uh, to preach to someone. He said, do you know this person? He said, I'm going to meet that person there. What did Jesus tell you? He told me to tell this person that he loves him. Within him, he was genuine. He made that covenant so he said if I preach the gospel it's going to help me. Because I entered a different covenant. The more he said that that night the demons will go and attack him. This, This young man became very famous. He got to a point even his fans got tired because one day he was in jail, the other day he was involved in these issues, so he was very disorganized. The police has revo- had re- revoked his driver's license. And he knew he was he, he, that, he had that issue. And then he drove again. He drove a car with drugs in his car. And the police caught him again. And he went back to jail. When he was still young, he was still young. He escaped from prison and his mother found him uh, at home. The mother said to him, please, go back to jail. And he went back on his own. But when he would sing, he would attract uh, the attention of the young man because he was a very famous rapper. But his own life was not able, he was not able to enjoy the blessings he was getting. That's how Satan pays you. Satan gives you money but he prevents you from enjoying the money. There was a, a musician a long time in Congo uh, he, he had a covenant with Satan to become great. And in the morning, Satan will give him money. And he will tell him, do not go out during the day. Go out during the night. In the morning tomorrow, you will leave, you must spend all the money in the bars. And he went and built or started a very uh, great bar. In, in that bar, he had put a picture, but people didn't know this. In the entrance door. A, a person who has, who's wearing a pants that is full of money. And he had put an exit of the bar because he had an interest in an exit. A person who has pockets that are empty. And people will think that it's art. But it was his own life. He had put that he was not allowed to use the money to help his family and his friends. He would just go into his bar and buy uh, alcohol for everybody. He could not pay for anything for you. He would just spend money to buy alcohol. That is the money from Satan. If you listen to the songs that this rapper was singing, for those who know English very well, 
They are very sad. They are things that worship the enemy. They are things, they are songs of desperation. They are songs that say you are going from uh, the cradle to graves. graves. You are going from the cradle to the grave. Actually, he was talking about his own life. This young man died. And these are children that you you see. They are learning from them. When they see them not combing their hair properly, they are wearing indecent clothes, they think that it's popular, but they don't know that that person has sold their life to Satan. This young man who did this shoe, Nike filed a complaint against this company. But Nike did not uh, file a complaint against him. Nike filed a complaint against the company that designed the shoe. This young man has sold his life to Satan. In other words, he has decided, committed his remaining years to publicize Satan, to worship Satan, and to serve Satan. So who is Antichrist? Antichrist is a system that has been created. The Antichrist is a human being who is going to be established by a system that has been prepared. There is a system that is already in place. Because every system must have a leader. People who are still trying to unite the world what I told you about the vaccines and other things have not become a problem yet. This is what you must know. Why do we have vaccines? Let me say it so that they can hear it. They do it in secret, in darkness, but we say it plainly. Public. The issue of the vaccine and the COVID is not the problem. System database. The system of the world is trying to come up with a database to know where everyone lives. The country or the continent that does not have a full database is Africa. And some parts of Asia. In these countries, you all and we also are in the computer system. But there are places in Africa when you say the word computer, they think that you are speaking in tongues. Because they don't know what you are talking about. They are still writing with a pen. They are still writing with a pencil. And the old uh, type typography systems that they never had. So to know, to know the number of those people is very hard. So what is going to uh, give the bring the database is when there is a vaccine and everyone is going to be recorded that way that can be used for the database there are many ways that can, can, you can use to have a database like flying but not everybody flies the immigration of a country not everyone is traveling the identity there are some people who don't even have it but a disease Nobro, 
There is no place that they are not going to send people to be vaccinated. So the issue is not that they are trying to vaccinate people. Yes, they are. But they are trying to find out their database. So the vaccine is not the Antichrist. It is a data collection that is being prepared so that people will be bound in the future. And then when the time comes, when the number of people is known, why do we have wars that don't end? There is a war here one day. There is another war the other day. And tomorrow there is a disease. The other day there is famine. There is this. Why those things don't end? Because there is there is this is what they want. They want to bring someone who is going to stop all the wars, who is going to solve all the diseases, the problems, who is going to stop all the diseases. He will stand on a pulpit and say, this war must end and people will stop fighting. And they will say, this is the savior. Are we together? I told you how things were being uh, played out, but it was not possible in some corners. When they prepared dem- democracy, democracy was actually a way to prepare for the Antichrist. Democracy but some countries, they not care about democracy. They just wanted to keep their monarchy. What happened when it got serious? There are almost, almost five countries that are rule the, the whole world. And every country has a say. When that country says no, even though other countries say, uh, accept, they say, that veto is in place. We are not going to do so. Are you still following me? I'm going to uh, talk about the spiritual things in a while. Uh, you know the war that is happening in uh, Burma? You know Burma? The, the old name was uh, uh, Nyama. That country had a coup d'etat by the, by the army. They removed the female president who was in place. And the people went uh, in, uh, in the streets. Uh, the army officers uh, uh, gave directions for the army to shoot those in, uh, people. They gave the order to shoot those people. Shoot them and imprison them. As it is happening now, when you look at it, it is the same thing that happened in Rwanda. People are coming in peace and then they are shooting them. Actually, the genocide is being prepared in Burma. Those five countries that are powerful, one of them is the United States, France, England, China, and Russia. They sat down. Let's stop that war. And China said, no, I don't agree. And Russia said, I'm also in agreement with, with uh, America, France, and, and America, France, and England And they said, we are taking measures. We are taking measures against those army officers, but their bank accounts are actually in Burma. They are not in America. 
We are denying them visas to come here. They don't want to come here. That's how they are killing people. But nothing is being, happened, being done. Why? Because Russia and China they are not for democracy. So when that happened, they prepare what they call what they call globalization. Globalization. Uh, New world order. The globalization is basically uh, joining all the markets and joining the whole world, which is called the new world order. What is that conception from? Those are uh, concepts or th- those are ideas of a few people who run the world called the Bilderberg Group. Those people have a meeting every year in Switzerland in Davos. Anyway. So this is what they are trying to do. Are we still together? We are coming in the in the spirit. Yes, Praise God. What they want is this. It is to establish someone and people will worship worship him. Who is that person? His job is to say, I don't want Jesus. Whoever wants can deny Jesus. That person is the Antichrist. That, was, that means the one who is against Christ, uh, Christ, the one who is Antichrist. If he comes today, the Antichrist, we will find that when the Antichrist comes, we will know who is uh, a true Christian or not. Now we are dancing, but when he comes, we will find out. He will say this, listen, all of you, I will give you. If you are coming today, Iman is a is a kenerako ufa uizira. So the antichrist. Now rukingo ni bindi. The antichrist is going to require you to have cards to be able to sell and buy. And you remember how your children are crying, and you going you are going to sign away uh, your salvation, basically saying, "I deny Jesus." But vac- the vaccine is nothing compared to what is going to come. Who are the people who overcome the Antichrist? If he comes before the church goes, or if he comes after the church has been raptured, there are people who want that side. That theology, that theology, that, the, that theology was developed by Americans because they are afraid of death. They say that the Antichrist is going to come after the church has been raptured, but it can come before. That, that theology was developed by Darby and Scott Field that talks about pre-tribulation. There are many commentaries of Scott Field where he mentions that. Here I'm talking about the end times. How they are going to be, uh, how they were developed by Darby. That is the version that we have. There are many so the commentaries say that the church will go through the small tribulation, but the great tribulation will happen after the church has gone. 
ariko nabwo turuta ba Petero babambwe ntabwo turuta ba Paul bishwe but we are not greater than the Pauls and the Peters who were crucified and killed birashoboka ko anti Kristo yaza itororo kiriho birashoboka ko ataza nanone ko yaza ryaragiye ibyo birashoboka ariko nibaje rikiriho tugomba kugira ubuzima bwo kurana it is possible that the Antichrist will come before the church is ruptured or after the church is ruptured. But if he comes before the church is ruptured, we must have a worshipping life. So what is, I spent time talking about many things, but let me go into the message. When we talk about the worshipping life, we must understand first what is the word worship. Worship is the feeling or expression of reverence and adoration for a deity, the worship of God or something like that. God. Okay. Kuramia. Worship. It is the feeling. It is the expression. Of uh, and of reverence and adoration of a deity. In a broader way, what does worship mean? Worship, worshiping is different from just singing. It is different from clapping hands. That is some of the things that you do when you worship. Worshiping God is the attitude. The way you conduct yourself. It show that you worship God. The, the second thing is the way you feel. Feeling. How do you feel? Do you feel the spirit of worship? Do you feel inside you the spirit of adoration? The feelings. The feeling when you wake up angry, you are not in the spirit of, ador- of worship. But when you f- uh, wake up happy, you are in the spirit of worship. What is worship also? It is expression. The way you talk. The way you discuss with people. The words you tell people. The words you tell them. It shows in you that you are a worshiper or not. A worshiper doesn't say some words. Even though those words are known. Even on the phone, there are things that they don't talk about. A worshiper, they choose their words. As I say, it is in the, in the feeling, but it is also in the expression. When you are talking to someone, do you talk loudly? Do you get angry? Do you insult them? Do you wish evil to them? You curse them? Though you may have a Bible in your hands or after you have prayed, at that moment, when you're talking to this person, when they're saying the wrong things, while they have the Bible in their hands, that person is not a worshiper. A worshiper is revealed in the words they say. A worshiper is revealed in the messages they write. A worshiper is known by the pictures he takes. This is different from being a Zafir. The way you take pictures, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you text, those things manifest that you are a worshiper more than the way you show up in public. I want to tell you the power of the worshippers against the Antichrist. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have the power. They don't want, they don't need Jesus to come or not. They don't need to flee away from the Antichrist because they have a life of worship. They can be anywhere. Hallelujah. 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 Another thing, worship is your position. The way you think and the position you take, the way you sit, the way you stand, your position it reveals worship. 
Are you following me? 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 you following Belief system. Your belief system. System. Your belief system. The way you receive. The way your principles. It shows whether you are a worshiper or not. A person who. Peanut. A person who are for sex because of peanuts. And you become disloyal because of a piece of bread. You are not a worshiper. A worshiper says no. That's how the Daniels were. They did not want meat or wine. A worshiper enjoys beans more than they enjoy meat. A worshiper can sleep outside his Instead of sleeping on a bed that has idols. A worshiper may sleep in cold water instead of sleeping in a in warm water. Because, because of their belief system. Because their belief system. He has decided to follow this and no one can uh, remove them from that. Attitude, feeling, speech, expression, belief system. A worshiper, though he is tempted, though he is tested, he says no to the temptation. Jesus. His attitude, his feeling, his expression, his position, and beliefs do not allow them to be te- to accept the temptation. Now monu genda ha. But a person who goes here. Ya sanga ba 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 fumu zakaja mu ba fumu. Ya sanga haba siri mbaga siri. Ya jari ya sanga ba fugu monu na waka kongeza. Ya jari ya sanga ba shimu monu waka siga makan. Uo monu sumurami. They go this place and they find witchcraft. They involve themselves. They talk. They do gossip. They do everything that they see other people doing. That is not a worshiper. What causes this person to be so? And they stand in the things that they accept. And he walks according to what they accept. He goes according to their beliefs. What causes this person not to fall? Why? Why do some people have a time when they are standing other and another time when they are falling? Jesus. The difference is when some people are worshippers, others are not. So let me tell you the laughter of a worshipper. What kind of life? This is where you find the difference between people. Praise the Lord. How can you say that a person who is in the same place and he will be 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 in the same place the belief system is in the same place and he will be in the same place and he will be in the same place and he will be in the same place how can someone be saved and in six months they are, they are fallen? In six, in one year they are fallen. That person is not principled. They are like chromosomes that shift or mutate. Why? Someone leaves the faith. How can someone uh, be... Uh, a hypocrite in the things that they believe. How? How can someone remain in God? Forever. How can someone be a worshiper forever? They are not changed by Washington. They are not changed by Bijombo. You take them from Ijombo, you take them to Washington, they find it the same, ah. even though the streets are not the Uzi same. Bavu. Do you know why? This many Ijombo believed in God. In New York, in New York he's still believing in God. The God of Ijombo is the same God of New York. Ah. 
So why does this person not change? The first word. The love that worship is the kind of love that is filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit causes you to focus on Jesus. When you are trying to turn sideways or to look sideways, Holy Spirit, look at Jesus and stick to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians 5, 18, 19 says, And do not be drink, drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in song and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord before you come to the stage. Make melodies for God in your heart, not with your hands. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Because the one who is not filled with the Holy Spirit is drunk. The alcohol, there are two types of alcohol. There are two types of being drunk. You can be drunk of alcohol or you can be drunk of your diplomas, your degrees, your beauty, all kinds of drunkenness People are involved in different kind of drunkenness. You find out someone is more proud, is more proud than the one who taught them. If you are going to the barn uh, to ask for a boot, Oh. Oh. It's, better to find, it's, better. it's better to find the owner. It's better to find the owner than to find the shepherd because the shepherd is going to give you a difficult time. The owner is going to say, take the bull, take the uh, bull away. Say the life that is full of the Holy Spirit. That is the life of the worshiper. They are filled with him. They are filled with him. Spiritual melodies. They make melodies for God in their heart. Let's give God glory. The Bible tells us about Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. The book of Luke chapter 4 verse 1 Then Jesus being filled with the Holy Spirit returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. In Matthew 4.1 He says, Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Once Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit He was sent everywhere. 
Jesus in Bethlehem. Jesus in Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Even in the wilderness, he's still the same. Satan is saying, "Satan said, 'Hey, I'm the one who's going to kill you. 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 I'm Christian does not have its own place. When you have the Holy Spirit, wherever you go, you continue to be a worshiper. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit took him to the wilderness to say, "Go and be tempted by Satan." When people are going to the wilderness is when they become a uh, Hollots. That's when people become thieves. That's when people start tra- playing tricks. People. When the wilderness becomes long, people sell themselves having been created by God. Because your value is not the value of that money. No, 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 no. no. Satan said, that Jesus you are is is you are saying that he's special. The Holy Spirit take, take him to the wilderness. There's, There's someone who went with me and they said I want to preach the gospel I want to preach the gospel and I say let's go there are some people who want to stand in the pulpit but when they stand they don't have anything to say I'm going in the province I prepared a big crusade I sat down And I told the person, you are going to preach. And you are going to invite people to receive Christ. I told the pastors I was with. All of you support him. Even if they, they say a nonsense, just say amen. So that we can give him morale. Azaf. Azaf. Sing in such a way that people are going to be helped in the spirit so that they are prepared. I prepared everybody so that everything will go well. I put the young man on the pulpit. He started sweating. I told him take those uh, uh, tissues and the, uh, the ushers to, uh, put uh, tissues on the on the pulpit. It's impossible to sing. It's impossible to pray. After 15 minutes, Azaf would sing. And they will continue to just play music so that he can continue. I looked at him and said, preach. And he gathered his strength, his energy. And he said, let's read in this book. For him to find that book. He started to look and look. And I found found the passage and say, take the Bible and he took it. The verse he said was not the one he had in mind. After 30 minutes, I asked him to come back. And I went and preached. <laughs> and I asked him in the car, I said, what happened? He said, the atmosphere here was too heavy. From that day, we called him the atmosphere. The atmosphere, he said, it's like a roof that they brought down. <laughs> The worshiping life controls all the atmospheres. Yes, Praise the Lord. Every atmosphere, you enter it. 
Jesus went to the wilderness. And it is amazing, listen. Satan caught him when he was hungry. After 40 days and 40 nights. Not eating, not drinking. As soon as he finished. Normally when you finish that kind of prayer, you expect God to come and the angels. But Satan came. Imagine after 40 days and 40 nights when you're expecting God to say, I am the Lord your God. You hear Satan say, change the stones into bread. Yes, Jesus denied. The word that I wanted to read is on verse 5. Jesus then the devil taking him up on a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said to him all this authority I will give you and their glory for this is this has been delivered to me if you if you worship me yes, Jesus was full of the Holy Spirit when did the, when the Holy Spirit came where did the Holy Spirit come from he came from heaven who sent him eh? It is God. That means that the belief of Jesus, the belief system, I must just look at the ones who sent me the Holy Spirit. There are many people to worship. But the difference of, of people, when I get to confusion, my eyes will look at the place where the Holy Spirit came from. And he told Satan in these words, it is, it is written, you shall worship the Lord only and serve him. Then Jesus returned in the power of the Holy Spirit to Galilee. And news of him went out throughout the surrounding region. That word is the word of Jesus. Of Nazareth. The one that God anointed and filled him with the Holy Spirit. That is in Acts of Apostle 10. He put on and he went doing good to all people. Healing the people. Uh, removing the curses because the spirit was in him. Hallelujah. When the spirit of God comes in you, you will be a full worshiper. You don't change with the seasons. You, you don't change with the seasons. With the money. With the beauty. With the glory. No, never. A young person who grew up worshiping God, they worship God even when they are old, even though they have things, because they are still looking up to the one who gave them the things. The love that worships is a kind of love that is built in Jesus and upon Jesus. In In Jesus. And upon Jesus. Upon ni hejuru. Upon means inside. Upon means you have built on the rock Jesus. It is different with, with Jesus. To build with Jesus. It is different. To build in Jesus. Because to build with Jesus is sharing 50-50. But yes. You said, Jesus, I, we are going to work together in these things, but in these things, I'm going to work on my own. Are there people who have shared with Jesus here? 
wabwiye Yesu bati Yesu ndagukunda ariko hari ahantu ndashaka kugera cyane kuko ni impagero zambuza biriye they told Jesus ngagake niyo mpamvu utaramagake no ga rutuntu wabwiye Yesu ngo twubakane ariko igiye ngo ukeneye ibyuzo turumvikanye Yesu ariko igiye ni mutwange ntumbaze ngo wari abo abo bene data nabashiki bacu turabafite urahari they told Jesus imana shimwe kwa no muri zawe ni mutarimo mwese mwubakiye muri Yesu no kuri Yesu there are some people who tell Jesus when we get to this area of my life I don't want you to be involved. Ooh. Praise God that in Zion temple you are all built in Jesus and upon Jesus. Rwanda ko gwambere gwa Petero kabirikane umunana. 1 Peter 2:4-8 Nimumwegere niwe werizima ryanzwe nabantu ariko kumana ryaratoranijwe iriba iry'ikiro kinshi. Namwe mwubakwe nk'amabuye mazima kugira ngo mube inzu y'umwuka. Ubwoko bwa batambyi bwere bwo gutamba ibitambo byumwuka bishimwa n'Imana kubwa Yesu Kristo kuko mu byanditswe harimo aya magambo avuga ngo dore ndashira muri Sioni buye rikomeza imfuruka vuga ngo buye rikomeza imfuruka byatoranijwe kandi y'igikiro kinshi kandi uryizera wese tazakobwa ni sone nuko rero mwebwe ubwo mwizeye muziko ari by'igikiro kinshi koko naho kubanga kwizera ibuye abubatsi banze Niyo rya hindutse irikomeza ifuruka nibuye risitaza n'urutare rugusha basitara ku ijambo ry'Imana tibaryumvire kandi ari bo ryagenewe Polesa coming to him as to a living stone rejected in death, indeed by men but chosen by God and precious you also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ Therefore it is also contained in the scripture behold I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone elect precious and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame therefore to you who believe he is precious but those who are disobedient the stone which builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense the stumble being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed in 2001 I was in Australia. Arege itene cyo muri Australia In 2001 I was invited in Australia and I came uh, there were other preachers who were coming from different islands along Australia. And I asked God what I should preach bona abashumba bakomeye abashumba bafite amatora akomeye bicaye imbere yanyu ngo ngiricyo mbabwire that night i had uh, pastors great pastors and great preachers who were sitting waiting for me to preach nari ngo mu myaka za 30 cyo gihe i was around 30 years nanganaga na jose cyangwa i was almost the age of jose gugu kwawe like you satan aranye intimida and satan intimidated me uravuga iki hari he said what will you say there's one man who intimidated me a lot. He was great. His name was Win Lewis. He was and he, he was preaching, he was going after me. We were uh, giving each other uh, the stage. Those are the people who were preaching. And the night when came, when I was about to pray, Lewis, to preach, Winnie Lewis, Win Lewis, new atangi jama torero yeba Pentecost bita Elimu Pentecost. Was so, is the one who started the Elim Pentecostal Church in England. This man knows the Bible in his head, and he knows it in English. Knowing the Bible is one thing, but to know the Bible in English is another thing. This man. And then he would uh, uh, make jokes of the Bible. When Lewis would preach when people were standing. And then came another man who, was, uh, who had a church in Melbourne. He was an Australian, a Chinese Australian. Before he spoke. He first talks about the degrees that he has. PhD, PhD, PhD in this, PhD in that, PhD in that, PhD in that. When he started to speak, 
he multiplied, it was like he multiplied his PhDs in seven. People who know the word. And then we finished. When we finished, everyone said, tomorrow. And they say that we heard that someone is coming from Africa. We cannot wait. And every time they told me that, I was afraid because I said, the one who did not hear Lewis, who, how is he going to hear me? And then the man in Melbourne, he came to greet me. Say, Are you the one, Gitkwaza? I was not this... Uh, Fat, I was young. <laughs> I hadn't had the kind of belly of <laughs> some of our singers. We had not <laughs> become <laughs> horses yet. He, he took me and shook my hand. And he said, this conference, though I have preached, but my heart is upon you tomorrow. People. I went home. And I said to myself, uh, what am I going to say tomorrow? And the voice of Satan told me, just call Gary Ranch, the organizer, and tell Gary Ranch that you are sick. Another voice said, no. They, they say, they may say that they are going to pray for you and you will be healed. <laughs> Get a change your itinerary, take the flight tomorrow and say that there is an emergency. It was as if I had been 40 days and 40 nights praying. He taught me that day, that night, and I said to myself, what am I doing? I said, no. I am not the one who will speak. It is Jesus in me. And I got up from the bed. I said, I cursed Satan. I rebuked Satan from every side. You are causing me to lose sleep. It is now 2 a.m. I'm thinking about changing my ticket. What is this? Once I chased him away, I felt the, a good spirit coming. I felt the presence of God. I heard the Holy Spirit tell me, whatever you prepared, don't speak, but say, uh, mention the stone that was rejected by the builders Candy. has become the chief of the And do not prepare the sermon. They have prepared PowerPoints, just go. I said, just that. I went to bed and I slept. I had, I had received the assurance of the Holy Spirit. And then I came. I dressed up. And I came before people. But I felt a little fear in my heart. I said, how can you chase away this fear? There was a young woman who, an old woman. There was an old woman in the, in the I sang. I sang. <laughs> I sang, I said, if I sing in English, I'm not going to go in the spirit. Let me sing what I am used to. And Ni 
Nilirimze, when I sang it, I could not find someone to play piano. Because the young... She when this old woman came, I felt in the spirit that she had not backslidden. She had an authentic faith. When she started playing, the rest is history. I find myself preaching and I saw the man I was afraid of. He came running and he came on his knees and he came and knelt before me. And other people were standing the aborigin he brought the aborigin people the people who came a long time ago from Tanzania uh, Burundi and they came and knelt down and worshipped I did not know what I said I learned what I said after I saw the tape God did amazing things. I understood that Jesus in us it is a great stone. Jesus in us his, his life is, is in us. He, uh, Jesus upon us. When we are built on Jesus, when we build on Him, they are His principles. It is not enough to be in Jesus. You must have His principles. It is not enough to have His principles. You must have His life. Those two things, they make you a worshiper. There are people who are in Jesus, but they don't have His principles. But there are people who have his principles that don't have his life. There are people of integrity that don't lie, they don't lie, but they don't have salvation. There are other people who have Jesus in them, but they have tricks and games. A worshiper it is the one who's built in Jesus and upon Jesus. The stone that was rejected by Buddhists, who are those? They are the Antichrist. But to us, it has strengthened our lives. It has strengthened our beliefs. Let's give Jesus glory. Let me finish so that you can go home. Three. Mm. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to talk too much. I'm going to talk too much. Ibu yabu Uvati wanze Nirkyoriko Me Zifuruka Ryageze mubu Tingo vganje Oho Rimpinduri Cha Remwe gisha Nagiri ubuntu nagiri ubuntu go kuba mukiza bwawe oh niho duhukira ngagugandeza nagiri ubuntu 
Nadiri uhundu Ugoku wa mbukiza Gawe Nihondu kira The world today hates Jesus. Because when he goes into their world, he changes their plans. He stops them from drinking alcohol while they have that thirst. He stops them from uh, fornicating while they have lust. He causes them to uh, stop stealing while they have that habit. He asked them to stop killing what they have the hands of blood. He caused them to stop lying when they have jealousy. For, for them, he confuses their lives, but for us, he's the cornerstone that was rejected by the builders. The Antichrist is anybody who opposes Christ. The stone that the builders rejected, the builders are the intellectuals of this world. They are the ones who use their logic. They are the people who gave their lives to Satan. They are the ones who are building this world the way they want. Jesus came and told them, I want to usher you into my glory. They say, no, you are confusing God. No, you, you don't want me to have this. And then came another and he said, Jesus, these things, I don't see them as gain. I see them as a loss. I seek you. I want to know you. I want to understand you. I want to know your glory. I want to know your power. I want to know your love. I want to know your death. I want to know your grief. And I want to know your resurrection. I want to know you. Those people took Jesus and he's the cornerstone that strengthened their lives. They have built on him and they are built in him. They seem like the house that was bought built on the wall that is not shaken by the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The stone that the builders rejected is the one that will fight on our behalf in the time of the cross. At that time, the floods will come. The rain will come. There will be wings. But that house will stand. Do not be afraid of the Antichrist. We are built in Jesus. We are built upon him. The flood of the Antichrist will come. His reign will come. But our houses will make strong. Those who are built upon him, the flood will come. The rain comes. Their fall will be great. Yes. Praise Jesus. All the things that we have today, we are not afraid of them. We have Jesus. The man we built, the man we built home, he is a cornerstone. Cornerstone. I will tell you one day about the uh, mystery, the mystery of the cornerstone. Number three. And this is the end. Those who are hungry, praise the Lord. Those who are tired because of uncomfortable chairs, praise Jesus. If you feel tired, we are free here. Just stand up. But I'm about to finish. If the Antichrist will make many people sit on those chairs for eight hours. The love that worships is a love that gives thanks in everything. It gives thanks in everything. Ephesians 5 20. Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
a worshiper when they uh, they go when they are hungry or when they did not eat the day before they worship they do not complain are we together when a worshiper is full, they still worship. When a worshiper loses a, a, a person, they continue to praise. When a worship had a wedding, they thank God. Say a worshiper. No circumstance will prevent the worshiper from worshiping. Is it death? No. 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 Is it abundance? No. When we murami, that is a worshiper. Murim sosa shimima. In all things, they thank God. But the Zanu yekatano chumi no munani mubiba ho sos muhere mushim kukwari zimana ibashaka umuri Kristo Yesu. First Thessalonians five eighteen. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Yeah. Nigeze kubona umugabo muri bibiri yabita Yehoshafati baza kumutera baramubwira ngo turakwica baza ningabo nyinshi arangije na batumiza korari ngo muze basha hari repetition y'umunsi korari zayiruka yose yageze bati rero ni mwe basirikare kituzi kurasa nyakubaho amwambe ati tuzi kuririmba ati ndabize ati mwe muraje imbere bari yabanzi ni meheto yabo muri rimbe eh ati nico mwahamagariwe ngoragenda <laughs> Yabona mugenzi wakamona mu mwanzi akamusogota undi na utanzu na kamusogota ngo bose baricana bugeza barangije korari gusirimo iririmba kwa mana fadili zako na dumu milele na milele amina oh kwa mana fadili zako za dumu Milele na milele Amina Takindi bonge yeho na kugusu Kwa maana fadhili Zako saduma Milele na milele Amina Ya, ya forumu yetu wangu arase azafa gasangarashi uobariku When they would try to uh, shoot at azaf They would shoot their neighbor in all the things that happen remain the worshipping like the thanksgiving life. Stop complaining like the children of Israel who complained and died in the wilderness for 40 years. Thank God in the good things, thank God in the bad things. When you have food, when you don't have food, in every circumstance, you will see your answers. The worshipping life. It is thankful in all things. They say, praise be the name of the Lord. After they hear that their children have died, the cows have been stolen. The uh, floods came and destroyed the, the fields. When they told them, when they told him, <laughs> and he said, "May the name of the <laughs> Lord be praised." He had a woman who did not worship. <laughs> it is sad, <laughs> tragic. He, he said, said "Who have you worshipped?" Maybe I didn't hear you. Eh? Who? Who? May the name of the Lord be praised. Our children have died and you, you give honor to the name of the Lord. As they spoke, uh, uh, he had cancer, the skin cancer. 
Izara zirachika zose. His uh, uh, nails started to break Umuzatuva. down. His hair fell. Ururura nuka. Wamwicha iruhande kwanukirwa. And his skin started to rot. Akabwira madam, sheri nshima ntazara mfita iki. Wavuze ngo iki gihabwe iki? And he asked wa shimi igiki nikiza kigushime. Tabwo ngushime. Tabwo ngushima nikigushime ico washimye. And he asked his wife come and scratch me and he said I'm not going to scratch you whatever you worship whatever you praise. Yeri kesi cyane. He was a very good great case. Wasabye atari muri andi murabimenya. Umudamu yaguhangaye cyangwa umugabo. If a woman Ijoro rimwe ryo nyine rirahagije kugira ngo urare wasaze. Ijoro rimwe ibaze The symbols you don't know this but one night only when you have quarrel with your wife or your husband you can even go crazy. Hari giye kibabaza? There is a term that has pick ijambo agasinzira kagona. Nawe urimo wivura guta mu gita. He or she tells you a word that hurts you and they sleep and you remain awake. Wa murebe ukabona ari marago na wafita amahoro. When you look Kibaza, at you or her, you say how is this person finding peace? Arandoze none arasinzi. They just uh, poison me and now they are sleeping. Yanga kum kumufasha kumushima yo bararuha asaba inshuti ze ngo munshakire urujo ikibindi cyamenetse uh, and then uh, he a uh, drop star ask for a broken pora pora yazanaga a broken urujo, pot kuko ntanza arafite akaba ari byo yikura because he did not have aho bashye gushikira he would have bisebe bimurya binuka he would have to scratch himself with uh, the that a uh, pot that piece of pot umugaba rakubitika The man was very hurt. And then the woman came. And I came to I came to ask you if you still love that God. Madam, papa, ni musonza tuzabiteho umugenzi wawe. Mwemere mupfane. Mwemere mubabarane. Mwemere musonzane. Ndi muzave kuma. Urugo rurabi. Wife and husband, if you go hungry, do not turn against each other. Continue to worship God and your marriage will be sustained. Umugore abwiye bene wabona ko bayo bati yarasaze afite mento iri nese tumute bose baragenda na bene wako bayo baramuta asigara wenyine nabagabo bari bajya kumucunaguza igitondo no mugoroba The wife of Job said say to his family he has gone mad he has a mental illness they all left him and also some men came and asked him questions are trying to pick his head Yo bu icyamo baje muri byo byose What sudden job among all those things Sindwara. it is not the disease so go push. it is not losing people Uwa ya kundaga. the one he loved iman god yari ya he had not found him he said only a wish Ngonyivone. that i may see him he goes beside me and i don't see him he goes on this side i don't Uwa see him i just wish to be able to see him And the others told him you will not see him. He said it's okay. Though his my body may rot. I will see him. My redeemer lives. I may decay. But he will The end is I will see him. Amaho erezo niko byagenda. And that was the end. Imani bwira abagabo barango mwe murabanya binyoma ngumuramye mwiza ni yobu. God told the men who were there this, he said the true worshiper is job he worships in good things and in bad things are you ready to worship god so as i conclude the time has come and it is also here When the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. That is John 4:23-24. May God bless you. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask you to stand up. I'll pray for the spirit of worship. Umwuka wo kuramya. The spirit of worship. Mu magambo, mu miterere, mu mikorere, mu miryamire, mu mibyukire. In words, in actions, in going, in comings. Witeguye kumuramya. Are you ready to be a worshiper? Mwumvisha ari byiza. 
Is it a good thing? These worshippers are the ones who will overcome the Antichrist. Are you ready to overcome him? Are you ready to overcome his system? system the system of God will be established by worshippers. We are going to ask for that spirit of worship to come in us. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to we give you, we give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you, we give you all. May the spirit of worship come. The spirit that transformed us into worshippers. The spirit that caused us to have a life of worship. May he come down and do miracles. May he heal the sick. May he uh, change those who have been impossible to change. May he change those who have not been able to be changed. The spirit of worship come. The spirit of worship come down. The life of worship come in the name of Jesus. I ask for the church. The whole congregation in the name of Jesus. Those who are following me. Those who will follow me. May all they be filled with the spirit of worship. A special spirit. In the name of Jesus. Receive the spirit of worship. Receive the spirit of worship. Receive the life of worship. Walk in the power of praise and worship. May this month change your lifestyle. I am May this month change your mindset. May you worship in your mindset and your belief system. Oh, yes, Jesus. We worship you. You are
the world. Fill us with your spirit. Holy Spirit, come down. Make us worshippers. Holy Spirit, come down. Change us into worshipers. Allow us to build upon you. In you. Lord Jesus. Let us be worshipers. Jesus. Let us praise you in all the things that happen. Let us praise you in the things that happen. In this life. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, Alpha. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha. You are Alpha. Oh, oh. And Omega. Give you 